My name is Jim Colwell, Assistant Chief Constable, and one of my responsibilities is as the Executive Lead for RACE. Now, in line with that resp responsibility, we've been doing some work as a force in relation to our disproportionality. And by that, I mean how our policing services are felt by certain communities across Devon and Cornwall. And what we've come to learn as a result of looking at that data is that some of it appears unequal and potentially unfair in terms of how some of our communities experience policing across Devon and Cornwall. At the end of July, I held a public listening event with um, in excess of 20 representatives from the black, Asian and minority ethnic communities across Devon and Cornwall. And it was an opportunity just to listen, to listen to their views, their stories, and their lived experience as members of our communities across Devon and Cornwall. There was a lot of challenge in that discussion. There was a perception of unfairness, a perception of bias, a perception of racism. I want to be able to respond to that. And so today we are doing some communications both externally with our local media and importantly internally just to share some of that which we now know about our disproportionality, but to encourage a debate and discussion as to the potential causes, because this is not a problem for policing to solve in isolation. This is a problem for society to both, first of all, look at and understand and then seek to um, solve collectively. You know, we've seen through the COVID response period some outcomes being achieved for black, Asian and minority, minority ethnic communities amongst the health service, which on the face of it look unfair and disproportionate. Um, and so it's that type of unfairness and disproportionality that we're seeking to understand. If I tell you the data shows that you are 12 times more likely, if you're a black person, to be stopped and searched in Devon and Cornwall if you're white, you are three times more likely, if you're black, to be a victim of crime in Devon and Cornwall. And you are nine and a half times more likely to be subject of use of force by police in Devon and Cornwall if you're black rather than white. Those figures appear stark, they need, they need to be understood and we need to work collectively with our communities and our partners to find ways of minimising such apparent disparity. So understanding the data is an important first step but it's not the only step we want to take. We've already commissioned um, work internally within the organisation to look at some of our culture, our systems and our practices. So for example we're looking at some of the um, procedures within our criminal justice system we're looking at how we recruit both officers and staff, we're looking at how we train our officers and staff, and we've already commissioned an internal um, cultural audit which will, we hope, allow us to understand perhaps some of those conversations that take place within the organisation that we might not know about just yet, but might help us to understand some of the reasons behind what we're seeing in our data. But it's very much, as I said at the start, not just an issue for policing to solve and understand for, our, for ourselves. So engaging with our communities and bringing that lived experience into um, our understanding and our awareness, um, having good, honest conversations that challenge and provoke debate and discussion is a really important part of that.